This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. Here we are. Superior Bait and Tackle on Segan Lane. This week's show might have a little retro video, but uh, the main thing right now, hunting season calling to a close. I want to remind y'all in a week or so, I'm going to have one of them great turkey calls, turkey hunters on, uh, give you some tips for the upcoming season. Right now, tournaments, tournaments, more tournaments. Every weekend from now on, all the way through March, April, May, and to the, all the summer, you got tournaments and rodeos. I'll announce a few of them, of them later. Uh, I got some couple of responses about the mud motors, so stay tuned, Paradise, Louisiana, and see what we got coming. Another quick addition, not much on the fishing side. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. Dockside TV today as we changing it up a little bit, leaving the trout alone, doing something nice and peaceful, not a boat in sight. We're in some crystal clear water, putting our new matrix hogs to the work. Got it rigged on that shaky head. That's a three odd hook, Gamagatsu. That's on our quarter ounce shaky head, catching marsh bass in the marsh. We should have a nice day as the Tide's falling very, very nicely. It's actually falling pretty hard. And uh, from the looks of it, when I look on the bank, it looks like it's been falling for about 
two or three hours as about a half a foot of water has already left this canal system. But we're in crystal clear water. This area holds a lot of bass, a lot of beautiful wildlife. Hog, we see some hogs back here, some uh, nutri rats swimming around, and this is a beautiful part off the West Pearl in South Louisiana. Misty him at the boat. Line just started moving sideways on me. Woo, that's what we're looking for. You know, marsh bass here in Louisiana, they're not really known for getting that big. If you get a four pounder, that's a monster. This is a solid pound and three quarter, two pound chunk right here. Yeah, we got him on that, that's, we call this one the sizzling bacon brush hog. Catching beautiful green trout like this right here. Back in the marshes off the West Pearl. Pretty cold. Look, at that. Look that's water from inside, I mean from the canal. Look how clean it is. And all we're doing here is, you know, like I was saying, this is a quarter ounce shaky head hook that we sell at matrixhand.com. We're just casting it on out, working the main bayous. You can see there's all kinds of shallow duck ponds off to the side, and we're just staying in the main canals and channels, and we're just dribbling this thing off the bottom. Just trying to find the deeper parts. The water temperature right now is in the mid-50s. On a sunny day, it'll get in the low 60s. And these fish, uh, they're starting to come out of the ponds and suction into the canal systems like this right here. We really like doing this on cold days with low water. It just makes it real easy as they consolidate real, real good into the main canal systems instead of spreading out in all of the ponds. On. These little marsh bass are so short, but they're round and fat. That little dude. Plump little fella. These things make great table fare. A lot of people throw them back. I throw back I throw back the bigger ones, but these little 10 and 11 inchers, these are just as good as speckled trout. Starting to put a little box together. It's been a pretty tough day so far, but probably got a half a limit or so. Can't complain. Bass, bass fishing this year for us hadn't been too spectacular, but we just wanted to change it up today, do something a little bit different. The trout fish has been pretty strong this whole fall, fishing the lake and the Chalmet wall. We're into the dead of the winter now. I like to do a lot of freshwater fishing in the winter time, as you see. See us do some bass stuff, and we also do a lot of crappie stuff, which we'll start doing here shortly. And we just wanted to put some of our new lures to the test, such as this Matrix Hog and this new prototype weedless uh, swim bait that's also been working good that Sam's using. good one right there as you can see behind me we got a really hard bend 
And that's why I caught that fish right in that bend where that current's really pushing. That's what you want to focus on when you're doing this is big turns in the bayous where uh, another like focal point, we call them suction zones, is where a duck pond enters a bayou like this, right where they meet, where you get three ways and four way intersections and bayous. You just want to look at your map and find those target points. And that's where you're going to find these green trout just like this. Again, what I'm using here is what we call a sizzling bacon matrix hog. We got three colors in this. Simply bouncing it with that quarter ounce uh, shaky head jig head. Got just a nice green trout back in the marsh. And that's another thing too is when we do this in the winter time, we usually avoid duck season. We're in the split right now. You know, a lot this area gets a lot of duck hunters and it just helps, you know, if you're gonna try it, it's better to try it when it's not duck season. Let's see if they got another one in this shallow section. If you can hear that on the camera, there's a hog back in the weeds right here. Ain't much grass in here. Oh, I missed it. Came through. All right, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what lures we're using as we float. With the current here, heading back out this little canal system. All right, the lure I was throwing all day was the brush hog from Matrix Shan and our sizzling bacon color with a quarter ounce shaky head. And what this is, it's a Gamagatsu hook, three aught, really nice, really, really nice hook that we carry at matrixshan.com. And it's a, it's a corkscrew right here. You just screw the head in just like a lot of hooks are nowadays. And then it's simply, you bury the hook through the body, comes out like that. And then you can even skin hook it if it's real wheat, uh, grassy or whatnot. The grass is uh, not terribly bad in here, but uh, there's a lot of floating grass that we're having to dodge, and gra underwater grass. So that's why we went with these weedless models. Here's a prototype that we're coming out with any day now. We got this in a four inch model, pretty similar to a matrix shad. And we also have it in a five inch model. This is the four inch, four inch. You're going to either want to use a three aught or a four aught hook. The five inch, you're going to want to use a five aught hook. It's got a beautiful belly slit in it right here. Again, you just corkscrew the nose to the front, go through the belly slit. It's going to come just like that. If you, if it's really grassy, you simply skin hook it like that and hide the uh the tip of the hook this is what sam used most of the day did really well on this this color pattern on this thing is phenomenal i love this color and this is something you can even use on an open face jig head if you're not in a weed weeded area or fishing bass you can simply put this on an open face jig head and fish speckled trout just like the matrix shad this is so it's a little bit softer than the matrix shad it's more of a, a worm grade plastic where it's not as durable as the Matrix, but this thing works really well when you're fishing bass and some heavy vegetation. So, hope you really enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV, fishing the cuts off the West Pearl River, targeting bass in crystal clear water, using some of our new products from matrixshed.com. Now to get your hands on these products, they'll be out, the, the hogs already in a lot of stores. This new prototype will be in the store soon, but, if you want to check out these the new prototype, make sure to subscribe to our Matrix Bait Box as we always give our prototypes out first. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out all types of fishing that we do here at Dockside TV. Until There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K.
Take it easy. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo. Built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo. Abu Garcia for life. Welcome back to Pure Bait and Tackle. Here we are, we got a, a few news reports. And the good news is they had a press conference, Governor Edwards and the CRPA. Uh, Queen Bess Island re Restoration Project is done, dedicated. You know, everybody knows what Queen Bess is. Congratulations to them. Uh, I got a few comments on the mud boats. Charles Williams from Fish of Delacro. Uh, beginning of the year, he was doing pretty good, but he was saying uh, the big deal with them, they ought to just run in the a.m. Okay. You should nobody be there after lunch. You're not running. Some of them boat birds are coming in and wanting a raft or use it and feed. <clears throat> but when you run them boats, especially their noise, that was another thing. Most people say if you want to correct them, the manufacturers need to uh, quiet them down. No, it's, I hear just the opposite. Most of them people that got them, you know, they, they ain't all duck hunting. They spillway crawl fishermen. Uh, they run at night with boat fishing. All I can tell you is that uh, I, I don't know how they do it, how they quiet them down. They got the best. They soup them up. So uh, I got a few more. Most of them are coming and say, uh, set a time limit. Going out early in the morning and sit there and uh, make it a come in if you hunt by mud boat. And uh, they don't have to make any other changes anyway. Uh, so right now, that's it. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak in and tell you all about rabbit. Been the bad reports on rabbits. Some of our good rabbit hunters, are, they're used to killing 20, 15, going in places. They're killing four to seven, killing rabbits. A.J. Vicari, him, he got a few of them, them rabbits. He sent, he got through with a duck hunt. Uh, I also uh, got a duck hunt. Late picture, I'm going to run it anyway. Jacob Marshall Wilson. Uh, it's the Texas Duck Hunt. Stay tuned. We'll be back for more. Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pods, moving in storage, solved. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. This is our tournament and rodeo report. Uh, a lot, a lot of tournaments I told you coming up. I want to remind everybody, if you want me to advertise this and uh, get you noticed, be sure you start about three or four weeks ahead of time. And But every Sunday night, I want a reminder. Send the same email you did with the times and places because that's usually when we I script it or I, I send it to Chris and we try to remind everybody, all our editors, put it on our Facebook or website. So... Let uh, me remind y'all again, if you want to be on there, and also when the tournament's over, at least send me a, one or two pictures with the winners and, and the final results. So, go on talking about it right now. One of the biggest uh, tournament trails right now, Fishers of Men, is a national tournament trail. Uh, they got some new people running it. And, uh, Christian Fishing of Men is starting off with Spillway on February 22nd. Go to the ATTPS, 
It, uh, well, I can't even read my own writing, www.fomntt.com. You found out more in the rest of the schedule. Also, you got your, your Cropping Masters Tournament. Uh, starting February 15th out of Bayside, remind you, you can't go south of 90, and you can't fish the spillway. Go to Facebook, South Louisiana Crappie National Trail, and see if you find out about it. Also, in New Orleans, Big Bass Rodeo, every year, one of the biggest rodeos around the city park. Uh, it'll be Saturday, March 28th. They got divisions for kayak and inshore fishing and bank fishing, everything you want to know. Check out their website and do. We've got a little while there. That's going to be, uh, that's coming up, Big Bass Tournament on March 28th. Angling for Autism, that's the big one but we're involved in. That's March 7th, Lamar Dixon, the weigh-in, dry runs is where they'll be fishing out of. Uh, I told you all last week, and I joined, BassCastBass.com. That starts in March to July the 4th. Go to their website. If you ain't joined, join now. Chance to win. A lot of money on with tag fish. Also, in a, in a, one of the great reports I got from Toledo Ben, uh, Big Bass landing over there, the West, it was called the West High School Qualifier. Louisiana High School in the Bass Nation, their West Qualifier out of Toledo Ben. Number one team, by the way, you, we're going to put all top 12 on the screen, but uh, number one team, Southside High School, Brody Hewlin and Landon Hotard, 17.49, five fish. Uh, they had a big fish of 5.9. Bob High School was number two with Wade Roberts and, and Drew Bennett, 14.95. Notre Dame was third. I believe this name, Brother Martin. I thought he was talking about a school. Brother Martin and Grant Shake Snyder with 14.42. West St. John, way over there. Shamar. Pierre and Christian Rosevere, 14.3. Uh, some big string has come up there. It dropped off to 13 and 9 all the way down to the top 12. So you get to see it on the screen. Uh, the big bass come from DHS Dragon Bass Club. Uh, Hagen, Cody, and Cameron Rogers. Cooley, excuse me. Yeah, 7.62. 7.62, big bass. Stay tuned, we'll be back with the Berkeley Abu Gossett Fishing Report. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Before I get into the fish report, I want to thank those guys that are answering uh, on my email and telling me, giving me a mud boat report. Uh, I'm planning a long ways off right now, but I'm not trying to, I might, might do a, invite a bunch of people to a, a place and have a round table discussion and might show a little piece for week to week on where the ducks. So stay tuned in fact, but I'm going to be trying to contact different organizations, different people that hunt around the country, around the state of Louisiana, find out where the ducks. I've got people calling me all the time, wanting to come show me why they think there's no ducks. So we're going to put them all together, might bring them together and let them argue a little bit, and then probably won't show you all the fist fights or nothing, but we're going to we'll, we'll try to bring you all a little bit every week on where the ducks before the next duck season. Uh, fishing report right now, freshwater, uh, the big lakes, you know, Toledo Bend, 
<clears throat> the deal, deal, good, good. Ram, Sam Raven, but this weather's been atrocious. The winds were so bad this weekend, I couldn't hardly fish off the pier in my camp. But right there at the Wrigley's, it was just blowing, blowing up, sometime up to 40 miles an hour. So it, it was bad, and some of my friends that were promised to take me fishing, it didn't work out. So, uh, what? That wind has been atrocious. I we went down in, in uh, Island Marina. We had some people were coming in, went out and catching a few redfish, but they had to get out of the wind. And you can catch redfish most any place. If you got a place you can get out. I tried fishing off the pier in the regular and it, it, it was just it was blowing my bait back in my uh, uh, back to me at the at the land uh, at the pier. So it's just crazy. And I mean, uh, Grand Isle is still slow again. The last one I talked to Rudy Valenciana. And Rudy was been catching fish at night and this and that. Last I heard in there. No reports are coming from Big Lake. I don't know whether they forgot me or what, but I'm not getting any reports on salt water. Fresh water again, the best report I'm getting is from Bob Black. The dead end canals, uh, Mr. John Tom Play is fishing them. He's fishing with that curly tail grub that's white and short truce. And uh, you can see, there's some beautiful fish. I got reports from Glenn Davis. He was out fishing, and Glenn, uh, when I talked to him around lunch, he, had, he ain't had but three. And uh, he, they were fishing in crack, uh, around Crackerhead and, and, and all up in the north part, and getting out of the wind. Yesterday, you know, you had that southeast wind, too, that was blowing real hard, so I don't even know where they're fishing. But uh, ain't many of them fishing, and ain't many reports coming here to spear bait and tackle. So that's the short fishing report. All I can tell you is uh, send me a report. Join in. Help me be good. Uh, John wants me to go to tomorrow. This is Monday we taping. Go down and buy black. Depends on the weather. I don't know if I'm black cloud him or not or just stay at home. Thank you for watching. Please send me the reports. Still weigh in on some of the controversy we asked you about. Come back next week. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rispone. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance,